Hi everybody, I'm Joey. I know it's been a little while since I uh, put a video out. You know, life has got in the way, crazy busy. Um, I've actually got a few videos lined up, but man, trying to get them finished is tricky. Anyway, have a look at this. I'm making a giant wardrobe. Um, hopefully you enjoy. So the carcasses of uh, the wardrobe is all made of MDF, so I, I can just get on with breaking down all the full sheets. Then before I assemble any of the boxes, I, I just sand the, the good edge and um, just round over the corners with this cool little plane from Rockler, which works really well on the MDF. And then I can just um, hold the pieces in place with the pins and then screw it together. Now I can get on with making the end panels and they'll just be out of 40mm pine. And then I could just clean up the edges. You know, I could do this with on the jointer, but it's just a lot more fun with the hand plane. You can cut all the rails to length for the end panels. And then add a groove to take the 6mm ply that I'll use. And this is mixed hardwood ply. It's really cheap, and um, you know it's just it's just going to be there to take some paint. So you don't need you don't need anything fancy.
and now I can cut the mouldings to go around the panels and um, I set up a stop and cut all the mouldings that are the same length first. Um, in this case the ones going across and then um, just cut the longer ones to fit. It seems to make the process go a bit quicker. It was right about here where I realized I made a mistake and I hadn't allowed enough room for all the drawers to fit in the carcass, so uh, it all had to come apart. I ended up having to lift the divider about 150 mil, something like that, to allow for the skets between the drawers and to allow for a space for the hinge for the doors. Um, so yeah, it was a bit of a bugger. So anyway, while I was able to paint that and get that area drying, I could get on to making the skirting that goes along the bottom of the unit. And these little clips attach onto the plastic legs that hold the base up. And I can start uh, thinking about attaching the Scotia on the top. So I'm fixing the Scotia to a strip of MDF which is screwed to the top of the units. That way once it's all together I can then take it all apart again to um, actually get it to the client's house. And because I can't glue this joint I've come up with this little uh, system of adding a a steel bracket on the back side of the joint at the top and it just holds it right exactly where you want it and um, then I can unscrew it and take it apart later. Also added these little glue blocks just supporting the Scotia out on an angle also that way when I take it all apart um, the Scotia will stay where it should. And after all that I can get back to where I was earlier in the day and um, put the draw runners in. The 
this is a very quick kind of overview of how easy the the Blum drawers are to put together. Um, these drawers, because they're behind the set of doors, don't have a regular front on it. They have a couple of aluminium extrusions, uh, which you'll see in a second. Now I can get on to cutting all the pieces for the doors. And this is one of the smaller top doors, um, it's just easier to film, film than the, the larger door. But after it's glued up I just clean it up with a plane before I route out for the panel. I'm just using a story rod to mark the hinge positions, um, that way all the hinges just click into place first pop and it's uh, much easier. Now that everything is fitting well and it's all painted, I can take it apart.
And so this is the units just unloaded and in the room and uh, about to start putting it together. And it was a bit tricky to film this um, the whole process, but I got some of it for you. So the floor slopes away by more than 20 mils over the length of the unit. So uh, that was more than I could scribe out in, this, in the skirting. And also the wall up the sides, 20 mils out. So the next day I went back with this um, small piece of moulding and just added it around the floor and also up the sides against the wall. And I just finished it off nicely. Thanks for sticking around and watching guys, um, really appreciate it. Now I had talked about uh, my house build, my new house build, and that was meant to be well underway by now, but our local uh, city council has decided that we have to provide a whole different type of consent forms, have engineers do what engineers do, um, so that's going to take probably not until mid-March, they think, till we actually get the second um, building consent, what, what, what is called a resource consent here. Um, so we have our building consent, but we can't start building until we get this other piece of paper, which, you know, these things, you just, you just gotta uh, fight through the red tape. Anyway, so that is coming, but um, that's why there's been a bit of a lag um, in some of my content. Um, but there are things coming, anyway. Uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one.